All right, guys, so this week's video, it is not going to be trolling for salmon. I just got off the water. We pounded the salmon today, got the boat unloaded. It took me about 20, 30 minutes to get all my salmon gear, and I am loading back up my walleye gear because you know what? If you saw last week's video, we put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on them on Lake Geneva. In the second half of the video, I only got to spend a couple of hours fishing for suspended fish out in the basin, and I did have some really good success. So this week's video, I'm going to go and try to specifically just fish out in the basin for deep suspended fish out in 180, wherever, suspended fish. And real quickly, I'm going to go with a little bit heavier jig. That is going to be a quarter ounce jig head. And the jig and the crawler, half a crawler, works really, really good. And I don't know if you saw in the video last week or some of the videos we do, but I like to cast a spinner. And I went with a little bit heavier weight here, a 3 8 ounce weight, because I'm going to be casting in deeper water. But that same spinner rig that's been working really good right there, that spinner rig, and last but not least, Lake Geneva has muskies and pike and all that good fun stuff. So I'm going to bring a swim bait with 60 pound braid. I, did I say last but not least? No, well, guess what? The hot spoon. We're bringing those too. So we're going to get some sleep here. I'm going to get up in like four or five hours. I am tired as all heck. So tomorrow morning, we will see you at Lake Geneva. Here we go. All right. So we have made it back here to Lake Geneva where the goal today is to search out suspended fish out in the middle of deep water and try to teach you guys how to catch them now i spent a little bit of time doing this last week in our la latest video i had so much fun i wanted to come back down here and spend a little bit more time just focusing on suspended fish out in the basin using forward facing sonar just because i haven't had this opportunity in the last few years so i'm going to start learning these in the lakes trying to catch these big walleyes with jigging spoons spinners really whatever it takes to catch them it's raining out right now drizzling i don't know if you guys can see but we kind of had a storm come through it's dark out in front there and one thing i want to mention a lot of times when you do get these severe thunderstorms and stuff that come through it does have a drastic effect on the salmon the walleyes and stuff like that sometimes it takes you know hours before uh, the fish start chewing again so we'll see what happens but i just want to see if i can locate fish out here and uh we'll see here we go rain or shine we're gonna kick some behind let's go Oh yeah, big walleye, big walleye. Be a big walleye. Time for me to turn off my tunes. I'm out here in the middle of the lake, just listening to tunes, trying to catch me some big old suspended fish, trying to get these GoPros rolling. All right, guys, I came to the back of the boat again. Let's see if I can get this one in the boat. I was on the phone with Cal and lost the last one. Middle of the day. Ah, sh Frick. Oh no, he just came off. Damn it. Big fish out in 95 feet of water. 95 feet of water. And I'm feeling it's like about a five pound wall, I'd be my guess. Not fighting like a small mile. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice little walleye. We'll take him. Nice walleye. Look at that. On the jigging spoon. Whoa, get out of there. Out in 95 feet of water, crystal clear. On a Sunday afternoon, it is a weekend out here. I just missed a hog. I missed a giant smallmouth, a big walleye. Now we score. Again, focus of today's video is just going to drift across the middle of the basin trying to catch suspended fish. Pretty cool. I'll show you this fish. A sucker! What did I catch? A sucker. A typical fisherman re reply. That ain't no sucker. He's eyeing me up. He's just staring at me. He's like, oh, that old guy in that pontoon right there, he's just staring. He's like, what the hell did he catch out in a hundred feet of water out here? I'm just out here with these little nuggets pulling them around on a little tube all day. Shit, I should be, we kids, we should be dragging crawlers out here. Look at this. He's catching suckers. Lake Geneva Gold. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Nice fat chunker. Out here in the middle of the summer. Gotta love it. On the jigging spoon, baby. Heck yes.
Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Got him. What do we got? Nice walleye? I think we got a nice walleye. I think we got a nice walleye, guys. This one is out in 104 feet of water. Kind of fighting like a smallmouth. Not sure yet. Single fish. Big fish. My guess he's a walleye. Be a walleye. Got a lot of wind, guys. We got a lot of wind, but we got another nice walleye out in deep water. This one hit the jig. Oh, it's heavy, guys. It's heavy. It's heavy. This is what we want. This is going to be a big small. He's kind of fighting smally-ish, staying down. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. What do we got, a big walleye? Get that net ready. The old clam catch and release. But it's good for the grease, too, baby. Here we go. Be a big walleye. Oh, please stay on. Stay on. Oh, yeah, it's got to be a big walleye. Got to be a big walleye out in 100 feet of water, guys. This is so cool. Forward facing sonar is totally changing the game. Totally. If you don't have it, you can't catch walleyes like this. Look at this nice walleye. Yes, yes. Beautiful Geneva gold, baby. Unbelievable in 100 feet of water. So, you know, there's three things I really, really like. As you guys know, if you watch a lot of my summer videos, and there's a lot of different baits that will work. Hyperglide, Tika Minnow, Jig and Wrap, Shiver Minnow, Jigging Spoons, all that, slow death rigs, crank baits will all work. But if you keep it simple, my, my three that I like the most, the Jigging Spoon, half ounce, three quarter ounce and a one ounce. The Jig, I like an eighth ounce, quarter ounce and sometimes a three eighths ounce and the jig i just use a jig and a half a crawler i'll show you that that's what this came on last but not least pulling a spinner blades welcome to the family buddy he ate the jigging crawler guys out in 100 feet of water yes he did there it is that's the bait right there quarter ounce gold jig head chartreuse gold Kind of my favorite doesn't matter that much just got to have that half a crawler and just swim it right in front of their face with the forward facing sonar yes look at this there's no way these can all be walleyes i don't know if you guys can see that on the screen or not Got him. Yes. When in doubt, pull the night crawler out. This feels better. All right, we'll take him. I knew that is a monster school walleye in front of me out here in 35 feet of water right now. Oh my goodness. This lake is just loaded full of walleyes. <coughs> It's loaded full of walleyes. The wind's supposed to pick up a little bit later, too. You got your big fish out deep. I don't know how big this fish is. It feels decent. Definitely feels pretty decent. How big are you? So I went to a finesse rod. I went to seven pound floral carbon leader. And then I've got eight pound braid. So the water's so clear. I just figured, you know, six pound fluorocarbon, seven pound fluorocarbon, as long as you don't horse them and get a stick them good with a sharp hook, you'll be good to go. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Really nice walleye. Nice walleye. Oh boy, they're bigger than I thought on the weed edge here. They're bigger than I thought. The focus was like, okay, I'm gonna go out deep and do a suspended walleye video. <laughs> this guy saw that clam net and he just went right back down to the bottom. 
look at this. It just goes to show you, you can catch them both ways. Oh, get in there. Yeah, baby. Let's freaking go. Mm. Nice fat little mama. What a great fish. On the jig and crawler. Deadly. Yeah, see, Tony, I wasn't even recording with my with my chesty. That's why I'm a potato. How big is this guy? Let's see how big this. This is just a monster school of walleyes. Boy, are they tough to catch, though. I mean, you'd think you'd be catching one after the other. Let's take a look. Not bad. Nice, nice, nice fish. Real nice fish. Not a bad one. That is a nice, oh boy, did he eat that spinner too. There he is. I gotta get him unhooked real quick. Take a look at him. This would be a perfect eater, especially since he swallowed it. Should be about 18. No, he's not. Oh yes, he is, perfect. All right, that is a perfect eater right there. He swallowed, ow, 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 relax. I said eater and he started going nuts just like last week. All right guys, so I showed you late last night my rig, but I just wanna show it to you one more time. And that's about a three eighths ounce, half ounce egg sinker, two way swivel, 14 pound fluorocarbon leader to a spinner, Indiana spinner, like a number two or three. So that's the rig, bomb it out. I see it fall into the fish. Once it gets right in the fish, I don't let it hit the bottom because I don't want the spinner to get weeded up, but they will eat it off the bottom. And I just creep it real slow. And the reason I like a, a soft, long rod is because I kind of like to let them eat it. You just feel them like tick it and load the rod up. And then I just sweep. So this is a spinner rod, one of our hot rods. It's a prototype. We're hoping to have some of these out by this fall, but by the time we get them built and everything, sometimes it's six to nine months, guys. A lot of people have been asking when we're coming out with long rods soon, but uh, with the supply chain, everything. Anyways, let's get back to fishing, but we, this rod, you're gonna wanna buy it because it will work great for steelhead, brown trout, and spinners for walleye. So back to fishing. Got them. Man, are they liking that spinner. They are liking that spinner. Tony? Tony, I, I'm on. I'm on, Tony. In case you guys don't know, Tony edits my videos. He's always yelling at me for not my, my GoPro not being on. How can I leave these fish and go fish out deep? I can't. This is such a monster school of walleyes. Can't leave them. Boy, they want that spinner, guys. You know, I threw the jigging spoon in there and they didn't want to eat it, okay? So I'm not gonna force it. And then I threw a jig and a crawler, they ate it, but I threw the heavier weight this week and, and just still throwing that spinner, but I went heavier because the fish are deeper. Another nice walleye, really nice walleye. Oh yeah, there he is. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, hey, ow, damn it, 19 inches. Guess what, you're going in the fish fry. Oh, sh see, they don't like when you say fish fry or blackening. They start getting a little crazy. Come on, what is it, how big is it? Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Got him, got him, got him. Gotta be a lake trout. Oh, a big one too. I gotta turn off the radio. Oh, I gotta turn off the radio. Turn it off. I got him. Big one. Gotta be a laker. Gotta be a lake trout. Oh yeah, that's what I love about Lake Geneva. Right here. Oh yeah, big one. Big one, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one. 
This is why we came to Lake Geneva, guys. Out in the abyss with the jigging spoons. So I'm trying to focus on the top 55 feet of water. I barely saw this fish. I think if a guy wanted to focus on jigging lake trout, you could do pretty damn good out here. This is a good one though. This is gonna be a good fish. Oh, it's almost like a repeat of my last video, lake trout. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, I just listen to tunes, cruise around out here and use live scope. A lot of people say, hey, you know, live scope should not be legal or I don't do a video without live scope. Are you kidding me? I cannot fish without live scope. I do use, I don't always use live scope. A lot of times I use my eyes when I'm real shallow and stuff like that. But with technology, I just can't fish without it. And here's why. I mean, I saw this fish out in the middle of the lake and I'm, this is how I'm fishing. I just can't stop. For you guys that don't want to buy it or don't want to use it, that's fine. You know, but don't be buying that iPhone 13 and uh, have all the latest, greatest technology and computers and tell me you're not going to have live scope. Okay. And driving that, that brand new boat and that new truck and not willing to invest in that equipment right there. That is a lifesaver right there. That catches me everything. It's not just me. And I will say this, it's a lot harder than I make it look, right? I'm not trying to say like I'm the best angler in the world. But I'm telling you, I know a lot of guys that come out here and it's not as easy as you think. It's precision casting. When that fish is 70 feet away and moving, you need to be able to make the right angle cast to it. So it's a lot of precision casting. Lake trout are one of the few fish that you can kind of decompress. Fishing deep like this, you may need to fizz some of your fish. Here he comes. It's a big fish. Nice fish. Here he comes. I see him. Nice laker. Look at that. Oh, nice lake trout. Really nice one. Really nice fish for inland. Look at that thing. Yes, we got him. Just wanted to get a look at him. All right, we'll put him in the net and go easy on him. And we're going to get that guy back. Come here, buddy. Yes, guys. Look at that on the hot spoon everything eats a jigging spoon oh my god did he crunch it or what he just crunched it crunched beautiful fish i'm gonna keep him in the water get my pliers and get him unhooked Isn't that awesome nice long skinny lake trout i heard they're great to eat out of here as well but i like to let lake trout grow old there he goes there he goes good Good, good, good. Got him, got him. Got him on the jigging spoon. Yes, on the bait caster. Got him. Yes, out here in 89 feet of water. Yes, 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 yes. Got to be a walleye. Got to be a walleye. 89 feet of water. Coming to the back. Coming to the back. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Got to be a nice walleye. What do we got? What do we got? Say, oh, yeah. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Nice one. Come here, come here. Yes! Yes! 80 feet of water on the jigging spoon. I actually mixed it up. Went heavier. I don't know if you guys can see this. I actually went to a to a one ounce jigging spoon. Went a little heavier, but the same result. Small one, actually a good eater. I think I'll keep this one. And I'm gonna have a nice little dinner. Compliments of this guy. Lake Geneva gold out in 80 feet of water. Isn't that crazy? That fish right there was suspended 25 to 30 feet down out in 80 feet of water. That one ate a one ounce jigging spoon. So half ounce, three quarter, one ounce. That's what we used all last year. 
just proves that you can come out here on a weekend, Sunday afternoon right now, and it's choppy and it's windy and nasty, but you can still catch them because these fish are suspended, pelagic, eating the bait fish. This will happen in every single lake pretty much that has big fish and has suspended bait fish in them, so pretty cool. See this? This is what you get on a weekend here in Geneva. Whoa! See my boat just rocking? See all the waves out here? Lots and lots of boat traffic out here. Just lots and lots of waves. So if you come out here on a weekend or even during the week in the summer, this is one of the busiest lakes. Ah! I just took a wave over the back. You get my point. One of the busiest lakes in the state. Got him, got him, big one, big one, out deep, big one, yes, this GoPro die, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a big walleye, that's what we want, we need some big walleyes out deep guys, this GoPro died, my GoPros are always dying, oh the GoPro died in the back, I got a big walleye on in the front. It's a big one. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Let's go, baby. Big walleyes. Oh, man. Nice fish. Big head shakes. It's going to be a nice fish. At least a five pounder. Might be bigger. You never know. Lake Geneva gold, baby out in 95 feet of water here he comes here he comes oh it's a nice walleye guys real nice walleye real oh nice one come here come here no 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 why do they always go under the boat this way and of course my net is stuck nice walleye nice walleye barely hooked He's gonna come off. I just don't think he's, he's just barely hooked right in the snout. See if that Gamagatsu hook keeps him pinned. Come on, come on, come on. Got him, yes! Heck yeah! Woo! Hell yeah. Out in the middle of the lake, catching walleyes. Look at they just spit it out on the hot spoon right there. Unbelievable awesome this is so awesome catching big nice walleyes like this it's a nice fish that's a five six pounder and we're out 91 feet of water guys 91 feet of water we caught him in 100 we caught him in 90 80 caught him on the weed edge the couple of times i've been down here to lake geneva guys we have put the beat down on him. i'm going to show you this fish all right guys Gonna real quickly look at that beautiful walleye nice 25 incher beautiful fish gonna get her back see you later there she goes right back down to the bottom musky or pike right underneath me right underneath me i mean like right here God, broke the rod. I got him though. Fuck. What do I got? Musky? Yep. Musky and he broke no knife pike. Broke my rod. Well, big pike. Real nice big pike and a broken St. Croix. Alright. Let me get the net. <laughs> There's always something going on. Oh, sh engage, engage. There's always something going on in this boat. I will say this, that is why you buy a St. Croix rod. Let's see if we can't get them landed here. Wow, what a cluster. There's always a cluster in this boat, guys. We breaking rods, breaking hearts. 
all sorts of things. Let's get this nice big pike in. <laughs> I knew it was a nice pike. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Come here. Oh, yeah. Got him. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, shiitake. I'm not even going to get a picture. I'm just going to unhook him, show you guys real quick, then dump him back. I was kind of hoping it was a muskie. I figured it was a nice pike down there. I didn't expect to snap the rod. But the nice thing is, like I said, St. Croix lifetime warranty. So I'm always sending rods back. Nice pike, though. Real nice pike. Uh, that's a nice pike. Long, skinny. But I guarantee he's 36 inches all day long. Let's see real quick. Let's bump him. Oh, he's over 36. That's like 37 inches, guys. 37, 38 inches. Long, skinny, 37, 38 incher. We'll take him. All right, buddy. We're gonna hold you in the water until you are ready. You ready? All right, there he goes. That was awesome. That was awesome. Except for the broken rod, that is. I got a muskie on! I'm a chicken spoon. Oh, I just jumped. Muskie came off. Damn that. Oh, wait, I still got him. I thought he came off. I still got him.